welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish and I'm excited to see you guys. Two videos in two days. Who would have guessed? In that pink bowl I just set down is the Merino Yak Silk Blend that came with the Paradise Fibers box in February. I pretty much threw it in the dye pretty quickly. So it's just soaking in some vinegar and water with the silk hankies from the same box. When I was getting ready to dye this, I was trying to do some autumn colors and um, I used two colors I already mixed prior to the video, but I also used a Dharma color called Golden Poppy. And that is close to the color. They don't come with any idea of what the color is going to be on the um, little jars. So I dyed little pieces of paper towel. <laughs> super scientific right and just taped them after they were dry to the lids so that i would at least have some clue then i also just showed you the yellow and what i thought was green it definitely looks green in the bottle um you're gonna get to see what happened with that that is a mix that i had stored in my dye stock so i just pretty much uh took out that roving i think it's actually top pardon me and squeeze the water out. Um, I hear a lot of people, and I do it myself, mixing up roving and top. Roving is a woolen prep where the fibers don't necessarily all go in the same direction and top would be combed so the fibers do go in the same direction. So that's why people mix it up. Honestly, I still use them interchangeably myself even though I know the difference. I'm guilty. I just want to try to be correct for you guys. So I'm just arranging it in the pan. Um, like I said, I was really going for kind of an autumn-y color way. My plan eventually is to spin this to a fingering weight and use it for something like the Star Shower Cowl, which I already have one and I love it. I feel like it's a good way to just like you can put it with almost anything and it kind of dresses it up and makes it seem a little more meaning clothing wise. You can put it with a, on top of a sweater or a long, even a long sleeve t-shirt that's not too horrible looking <laughs> and it dresses it up just a little bit. And it's like a good way to wear your knitting that's not going to make you boil because I'm always hot. So I was trying to go for kind of an even color mix, but the poppy, the golden poppy, is way more saturated and I was hoping that that would really like pop out at you the most, even though there was going to be extra colors in it. It's really interesting how this turned out and we were actually just talking about this at knit night, I think, or maybe it was knitting group in the afternoon on Wednesday. that. You know, I've been dyeing stuff for 10 years. I started with food coloring and went to the acid dyes when I was struggling with fading. And I never went back because I love the acid dyes. But I am still frequently surprised by what I get with dyeing. And maybe that's bad or maybe that's just the nature of the beast. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear what other people think about that. Um, my wheel has been in my possession for 11 years next month so and she, it, she was not new when we got her but um i've been dying since shortly after that and i still don't always know how things are going to turn out so i don't know if you can really see on that gray but this looks green and that's what I thought I was definitely getting. I thought I was getting orange, green, and yellow. Um, and adding the yellow, I definitely thought was also going to make that more of a yellowy green. So <laughs> it was kind of a, a happy surprise how it all turned out. But I literally was just very haphazard that green and yellow are extremely diluted. I knew they were just basically going to be like a transparent, almost like a sort of like a glaze over color and not so much of a saturated color. 
I did add some more golden poppy because as I said that was the color I really wanted to jump out the most I really dyed this because I can't wear that kind of beigey color around my face and I wanted to make a cowl with it if I wear that around my face I look like I should be wearing a toe tag so I'm just gonna put that on the stove you've all seen me do this before but I put my stove on simmer with the burners that are just underneath it and then I cover it. I have probably an unreasonable fear that wool that I'm heating will dry out and perhaps even scorch a little bit. It's not reasonable, but most of my fears aren't. I'm just telling you the truth. And I got this gigantic <laughs> roll of plastic wrap from a food supply store. So, I'm sorry, restaurant supply store. Now, after I finished, I threw a little bit of dish soap in with the silk pinkies. This is a good idea if you're gonna dye straight pure silk. It's something with the surface tension. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't understand. Look at the bubbles, that's why I left this in. Isn't that funny? Um, something with the surface tension that helps the dye take. I don't understand that science, but Sometimes I just do like I'm told. So I just went ahead and checked that top and I could see that the dye was not quite fully absorbed kind of around the edges where the water was so I covered it back up. I bet it was only on the stove for 15-20 minutes. But as before Usually if I get my dye stuff out, I go ahead and fill this crock pot up with just odds and ends because I love to have small amounts of different colors in my stash, especially like if I'm going to make roll eggs or rovings on the board where I can just pull them off. I just like to have all different stuff around to grab and add in. Um, what I dyed in these pots this time was a uh, not a whole fleece, obviously. A couple of small bats made from a fleece that I washed and processed from Gleason's Fine Woolies. They have bond cross fleeces, and oh my gosh, if you want one that has a long fiber, is super clean because their their sheep are coated um, and easy to process, I really recommend their fleeces. I hate to tell people about my favorite places because then I can't get them <laughs> but they are amazing and I really do recommend them especially if you're newer to processing because they're not as dirty they're perhaps a little bit more expensive than you can get some other fleeces but in my opinion if you're looking for one that is quite clean and just you know it's gonna be good quality it's worth it but I do understand if you're just starting out, maybe you don't want to spend the money. Really, I personally probably wouldn't want to buy one and send it out because that would add so much to the cost to have it processed at a mill. Up to you guys. But I've been thinking tons about spring. Some of our snow is melting and I decided to just dye these. Um, I think it was like six little small bats some super eastery springy colors so those dye lots or i'm sorry dye stock was all all three of those were already mixed in my little closet where i keep my dye and i just took them out threw them in the pot i don't know why if i'm gonna make a mess dyeing i usually feel like i might as well just like fill up all my little dyeing materials and there's so much fleece in my house, it doesn't even matter. So, I love to flip it over and check for white spots. And I have a policy uh, where I always flip them one more time than I think I need to. If I think I've got everything, I never do. So, it's just sort of something I do that 
one more time after I think I have everything, I flip them. So again with these colors, I was trying to go very light and pastel. My pink is a bit more brilliant than I had intended, but I mean, you can really never go wrong with a brilliant pink, come on. There is not a ton of fiber in each of these pots either. There's maybe one ounce. So they did turn out really, really nice. So I'm going to just go ahead here. Add a little bit of water to them and check them that one last time. I don't recommend you turn on the heat until you have fully done this because especially these fleeces that are quite fine, they will felt pretty easily. So you don't want to be flipping them around a lot in the hot water. And here's that finished top. Is that blue crazy? That's what I thought was green. I love it though. It turned out really pretty and I can't wait to spin it. And then also, here are those Easter colors. You will see those come up in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys.